he hit me up on Instagram not too long ago asking me how to help his dreadlocks, how to lock them up quicker. Hey guys, another reaction video today and I'm super excited to do it. We're gonna be looking at people combing out their dreadlocks and the first one is actually really cool. You see him in the thumbnail and it's actually really interesting, the story behind his dreadlocks and I'll explain it while we're watching the video. So before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are new, please subscribe. I drop dreadlock content all the time and it'll help you guys with starting your dreadlocks or maintaining the dreadlocks that you do have or so you're just interested in dreadlocks. Hey, subscribe. But you guys, let's get into this. Corey Campbell, first person we're looking at today. He actually combed out his locks. He didn't have them for that long amount of time. Let's get into it. He hit me up on Instagram not too long ago asking me how to help his dreadlocks, how to lock them up quicker. And he wanted to get rid of frizz and all that kind of stuff. And you can see right here, he still has frizz. One of the things that I told him is use a crochet needle. If you use a crochet needle, it's gonna work. It's gonna, you know, pull in all that loose hair and fix your uh, freeziness and everything like that. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what he ended up doing. And yo, now we're here, he's combing them out. Trust me, I've been in the same spot to where it's not even that I don't like my dreadlocks anymore. It's like I just wanted my curly hair and that's what it resulted in when I combed out my first set of locks. If you guys know now, if you guys seen the update video, I'm actually on two months of working on freeform locks. You guys can see um, some of them forming. So that's really cool. But as far as Corey Campbell, like I said, he hit me up probably two months ago and gave him some pointers. We went back and forth as far as locking up his hair. So it's pretty cool to see him actually coming them out now. Um, let's see the transformation. We've seen him with curly hair before and he actually recently got on YouTube, which is really cool to see. But let's see the transformation. They should be fairly easy. He should be able to get rid of them pretty quick because he only had them for a short period of time. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna be able to do this in one setting. I got my Munchies peanuts. These are the bomb.com. I'm waiting for that, uh, that sponsorship. But let's face it, by looking at his hair, he has some really dope dreads. It'd be cool if he would have kept them because they, they would have turned out great because they're still immature and they're still in the locking stages. But it would have been really cool to see him actually go through with it because his hair is really dope. Especially with the fade that he has. He has like a drop fade. Why does it look like we could be brothers or something like that? All right, so he finished half of his head already. So that just goes to show that if you have dreadlocks for, you know, maybe like three months, it's going to be easy to comb them out. You'll be able to potentially comb out your hair within one session like how he's doing, I'm sure. So he's actually almost done. He has the front combed out and then he just has a couple on the back that he needs to get through. But he does have some pretty cool curls. His hair type is probably about a 3A, 3B. But you guys, comment down below. Do you like dreads better or do you like curls better? I wanna know. Now for all the OGs out there, did you like my hair when I had my first set of dreadlocks? Did you like my hair right after I combed it out and it was curly? Which one did you like better, curls or dreadlocks? I wanna hear your comments down below. If I heard him correctly, it only took him five hours to do this. Just for a quick reminder for everyone out there, when I combed out my dreadlocks, it took me three months. Three months for me to comb out my hair, I think. Oh, he's still not done, I still see some in the back. But yeah, guys, it took me three months to get rid of my dreadlocks. It was like three to five hours per session a day. Oh, he's about to cut. Oh, he cut one off. He's actually cutting some of the tips off. I don't know why. Maybe he's just going and like evening out his hair. Because when it comes to combing out your hair, your hair is gonna be different lengths because of breakage within dreadlocks. And it looks like um, his hair is just knotting up still. Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> he, he, he thought he was done and then he like went through his hair and he found one more and then he just cut it. Yeah, it literally only took him five hours. I don't know how people can get through that quick. And there still was a bunch of, you know, hair that came out of his dreadlocks. So that just goes to show how much hair falls out, you know, a short period of time. Cause he had his dreads for maybe three, three to four months. I don't know if it was a full half year or even a full year or anything like that, but Pretty cool, let's move on to the next one, guys. All right, here we go, we got Jay Songs right here, and he's coming out his dreadlocks after four years. He has really long dreadlocks, really tight dreadlocks, very mature. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but let's get into it. He has, it looks like, over, there's someone walking on my roof. He has easily over 100 dreadlocks, maybe close to 200 dreadlocks. Looks like he has a full set of dreads, so this is gonna be very interesting. It's gonna take him some time, I can already tell you that. 
So look at that length difference. He lost a bunch of hair combing out his dreads. One thing that he needs to realize though is when you comb out the front dreadlocks, or for anybody out there who wants to comb out their locks, when you comb out the ones on the front, the hair is gonna appear shorter because that hair has more breakage or is more thinner. There's a lot that goes into the hair along the front hairline because when you comb out that hair, it's gonna appear very short once you comb it out. But once you get to the back, the length is pretty much the same. You lose some inches obviously, but you're not gonna lose you know, that much that you see right there. I really like to know how long this has actually taken him to do. So it took him 10 to 12 minutes just to comb through one dreadlock. See, he's maintaining his length but it, obviously it is gonna be a little thinner at the tips. That's how it was for me. And then I had to do like trimming, which I didn't really wanna do, but I ended up doing. All right, so his hair is fully combed out. It looks like he might've cut it or something. It took this guy eight days to do it. I don't know why it took me three months. Can anybody like comment down below and let me know why it took me three months to comb out my hair? Maybe just cause I'm like kind of busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff. It's like, dude, I was doing five hour sessions, sometimes, you know, 10. How many of our sessions? There were some days where I combed out the entire day and it still took me three months. But his hair compressed a lot. You can see the variation in lengths. You can see that some of them are super long. Some of them maintained all their length. Some of them didn't at all. And that is the joy of combing out your dreadlocks. You don't know what you're gonna get. But you guys, out of the next one, we have Zion, Zion, Mary. So you can see that some of her hair is actually combed out. Her dreadlocks look super mature. It looks like she's had them in for at least 10 years. She's actually maintaining quite a bit of length after combing out the dread, so that's really cool. And a little pro tip for all you guys out there, if you're doing dreadlocks and you're not sure if you're gonna keep them, you know, even if you're not sure if you're gonna keep them after, you know, maybe even five or six years, if it does come to the point to where you know that eventually you're going to comb them out, do one method. First off, don't do interlocking whatsoever. Don't do crochet hooking. Don't do any of these methods that are, you know, are gonna make it harder for you to actually comb out in the future. If you're going to eventually comb them out, do twisting with gel and stick with that and allow your hair to lock up because it'll be easier to comb your hair out in the long run if you know ahead of time that you're gonna eventually comb them out. But for sure, do not do interlocking because interlocking is gonna cause the most breakage when it comes to combing out your hair. See, look at all that length. She maintained all of her length. She's combing through it right now. You can obviously see that there's some that are longer than others and like I've said before, that's how it's gonna be because some dreadlocks survive better, if you could say it that way, versus other ones and that's just kind of how it goes. She's on day five and she literally only has a little bit left. I still don't know why it took me three months to comb mine out. Day six and completed quicker than eight days and her dreadlocks were super mature. I don't know what it was, y'all. I don't know how you guys are combing your hair out so quick. I would've just got bored. If I would have like went day in, day out, combing out my dreads, I would have probably got to the point to where I just wanted to cut it. That's why I was pr pretty patient through the whole thing. All right, here we go. Another person coming out their dreadlocks, Keezy TV right here. Really cool dreadlocks. Looks like she's had them for a while. Now, not only does it look like she's had them for a while, but she has bleached and dyed the tips. So we're gonna see if that comes through, pulls through, and survives the comb out. So her hair is shorter after the comb out, and you can definitely see the bleach and the dye did not make it through. So this is for everybody out there that has bleached or dyed hair and eventually wants to comb out their dreadlocks. Know this, that the bleach and the dye is most likely not gonna survive because your hair is gonna be breaking off anyway with you know combing out the hair but with the hair being bleached and dyed it's gonna be more fragile and it's just like 100% not going to survive unless you took it strand by strand which it's most likely just not gonna happen so just go into it knowing that the tips are going to break off or whatever you have bleached it's most likely gonna break off unless you've had your hair for you know less than a year haven't allowed it to fully lock up it will probably survive but when it comes down to it when you comb out bleached hair that hair is so damaged already especially if the hair is lighter because if your hair is lighter based off of bleaching hair that means that it's even more damaged so this is her hair after the fact and it looks good it's cool seeing the transformation like i say i think the biggest thing i get out of this is seeing people transform 
from them going to you know dreads to curly hair dreads to whatever their hair was before or even if they cut their hair going from dreads to waves or dreads to just short hair it's always cool seeing the transformation so yeah like i said earlier make sure to comment down below leave a comment letting me know what you think do you like dreadlocks or do you like curly hair all right this ought to be very interesting just based on what i was just talking about she's had her dreadlocks for seven years this is pre Irene, Priya, Larry. I'm not sure if that's an L or an I. Sometimes YouTube needs to emphasize that. What does that say? Is that P R E A L R E N E? Yeah. Pre Lorraine. <laughs> Y'all seen it. You know what I'm talking about. So you can see that her hair is bleached or dyed or whatever you want to call it, but you can see that her hair survived. And based on what I was telling you, if the hair is lighter, it's most likely not going to survive. But you can see that her hair isn't bleached all the way, it is kind of bronzy or a brown. So it's not dyed completely, and that's why her hair survived through it. So you kind of just got to play it by what you think is going to work and what you think is going to survive through a comb out, and hers survived. And I'm sure she did a lot to it. Like, she's doing a lot of work on the combing out process, which is preventing a lot of breakage. So first off, she soaks the hair, and she sprays it with, I'm sure, some sort of conditioner, and she uses the end of the comb, which this is the best way to preserve any length is if you use the end of the comb, the rat tail part. Because if you use the comb, you're taking off more hair. But if you do it with the end of the comb, it will allow you to take it strand by strand, which takes longer, but you're gonna preserve your length and preserve your hair without resulting in breakage. And this is the finished look of her hair. But yeah, maintain the length pretty well. I'm sure her hair is still about the same length as her dreadlocks. And I think that's a misconception that people give off with combing out dreadlocks, is that your length isn't gonna be there. The issue is, is that your dreadlocks have weight. So if you have curly hair, if you have really kinky hair, which I don't like calling it kinky, I'll just call it tight curls. With your hair being like that, once it comes out of the dreadlocks, it'll shrink up. Cause like even looking at my hair, like my hair is still the same length. But since my hair has curls in it now, it shrinks up the hair and it doesn't have the weight to actually hold it down. Cause my hair is not as heavy as it was when I had dreadlocks. So same thing with anybody else who comes off their hair. It's not much shrinkage, maybe a few inches if that, but overall, you maintain more length than what you would actually think. But you guys, that is today's video. Thank you for tuning in. It's always cool seeing people come off their dreadlocks just because of the transformation side of it. I'm not against dreadlocks. I'm actually, like I said, on my two month uh, lock update as far as allowing my hair to freely form, which you guys can watch the update video that I posted recently, but it is really interesting. I actually posted a video of me reacting to people cutting off their dreadlocks recently as well. And it's just really interesting seeing people transform. But you guys, like I said, that's today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you guys are new. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.